We are back again for another two box penny hunt for our penny hunt and fill series. This is going to be episode 31 and we have boxes 48 and 49 to hunt. And these are my hometown boxes in the DFW area. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we've got a two box penny hunt and these are from the DFW area. These are my hometown boxes. Now I've already popped the top of them to make sure I had circulated coins and I do. And I will tell you, I didn't see not one wheat cent ender in these two boxes. Now I do want to make a reminder to everyone that if you haven't been watching this series and you'd like to go ahead and start it from the very beginning, I do have the playlist link both down below in the video description as well as up here. That way you could check it out before seeing the progress we've made on the album. Now for those that are already caught up, you'll recall that after the last Hunt and Fill episode, we were unable to add any sense to the album. But we stood at 174 out of the 234 spots filled. You guys know what we need. We need that 54S. We need a couple more steel cents and a whole bunch in the 30s on back. Hopefully, we'll find some. I'm going to slide this aside. We're going to begin the hunt. We're going to grab roll one out of box 48. And I'll bring you guys in if and when we have a first find. Well, we're off to a hot start. I'm on the very first roll. That's my discards. We've got a couple of coppers. I was just getting ready to pull this one down and I exposed the date and take a look at that. 1927 Denver, just chilling back there. Look at that, we do not have, at least I don't think we have a 27 Denver already. And let's put it under the scope and take a quick peek on the screen. Confirm 27 Denver. Not a key date or a semi-key date, but definitely one that's under 30 million minted, if I recall. And I will take it, and it has a cool patina to boot. On the board, first roll, first find, and it's an early one with a mint mark. Roll number six, wheat scent number two, reverse facing, 57 Denver. Roll number seven, and we're going to have a couple of wheat scents here because I can see a 1941 which we will check for any of the doubling just to make sure we don't have the DDO. There's a couple of different ones, three of them in fact, and uh, I have a video where I found some, but that's not gonna be one. Still, it's weed scent number three, and as I flattened them out, I think I caught a glimpse of a 1955 back here, and that is a 1955 Denver weed scent number four. Same rule, and when I was looking at that 55, we saw that discolored one in front of it, a few coins in front of it, and it is, in fact, a wheat scent, a 1952 Denver. That's already five Wheaties in the first seven rolls of this first box. Roll number nine, wheat scent number six, a 58 Denver. Roll number 12, wheat scent number seven, it's a pretty nice 1945. Got some pretty good detail on it. We'll take it and look for more. Roll number 17. Wheat scent number eight. Another 1952, but is that an S? And it is. We don't need it, but good seeing an S-minute wheat scent nonetheless. Second from 1952. Roll number 20. Wheat scent number nine. And that's going to be a 1944 Philadelphia. We're on roll number 34 of the box. So it's been 14 rolls since our last wheat scent found. The box has really cooled down. Luckily, we have one. And it's going to be our 10th or our double digit wheat scent of the hunt. And this one is a 1945 with a mint mark. And it's going to be a 45S. We don't need it, but it's always great seeing S mint marks. We'll add it to the board. And see if we can get back on some wheats after a hot start. Roll number 36. Wheat scent number 11. This one's going to be another 1957 Denver. Same roll. We've got another wheat scent. A 1951D. And that makes a dozen. Roll number 38. And we're going to have our 13th wheat scent. And by the reverse, I'm hoping it's an old one. It's older. It's a 1944 with a mint mark. 
and that's a Denver. And I don't see the D over S, so we'll just add it to the board, continue on with the hunt, and see if we can find another. Roll 39, and it's nice to see the box heating up again because we just found our 14th wheat scent of the hunt. And this one is another 1955 Denver. Roll 40, wheat scent 15. Obverse facing, a pretty nice 1956 Denver. It's in brown shape, but it looks good for its age. Well, unfortunately, the last 10 rolls of the box produced no more wheat scent finds, but 15 in a box is good for me. Obviously, 14 of them are 1940 and newer, but we did find in that first roll that 27D, and that's a great find. Probably will be an album user. One Canadian, 359s, a pretty nice 1960D small date. I'll check against the album. 169S damaged, not the DDO, and just over half a cup of copper, which is good for my area. Not a bad first box, 15 wheat cents on the board. If we can get 10 in that box, we'll have 25 for the hunt. Speaking of that box, let me clear that away. I'll bring you in on the first find of box two or 49 for the series. Well, we might just be onto something here and I'm hoping it's not beginner's luck once again on a box. But back-to-back -back boxes has produced a really nice first weed scent roll. Because we're on roll number one, and I already saw it. It's definitely an oldie. Take a look at that. We just found a semi-ketate weed scent. 1913S. That is by far one of the best wheat scents I have found ever in a bank box. Not customer wraps, I'm talking bank wrapped. And uh, I'll take that all day. 1913S, 6.1 million minted. And if we find scents like this still in circulation, this gives me hope that we could find others in boxes in the future, if not more in this box. 1913S, Unbelievable, fantastic find. That's the oldest and one of the best ones, like I've mentioned, I've ever found. Let's get on with the hunt. 16 wheat cents so far. We're on roll 16 of box two, and unfortunately, after finding a semi key date in roll one, the box has gotten really cold. Even the copper's been light. But I bring in because we've got our second wheat scent finally, and this one's going to be. A 1952 Denver. Roll number 17. Wheat scent number 18 of the hunt. And that's going to be a 1954 Philadelphia. Roll number 29 of box two is going to provide our fourth wheat scent of this box. 19th overall. And it's another 1952 Denver. Same roll. Almost an ender. Wheat scent number 20. Another 55 Denver. Roll 32. Wheat scent number 21 is a 1945 Philadelphia. Roll number 93 of the two box hunt, 43rd roll of this box. And we finally got a wheat scent ender and it's gonna be in the 30s. And it looks like it's a 35 or a 36. Let's see what it is. Wheat scent ender, wheat scent number 22 is going to be a 1936 so we just want to make sure it's not the ddo or any of the ddos and i'm not seeing it we already have a 1936 and as is customary i see very few 30s and when i do find them we already have them roll 96 wheat scent number 23 and that's going to be a 51 denver roll 99 Wheat scent 24 is yet another 1952 Denver. Well, we finished that 100 roll two box hunt and we did fall short of the 25. I was hoping for 10 wheat scents also in the second box, but we got 15 in the first, nine in the second for 24 wheat scents. Of course, one would always argue whenever you find a 13S in a box, it doesn't matter what you find after that. 
That being said, when you do find a 13S and roll one, you are kind of thinking maybe a collection dump and that just never panned out. Either way, it was another great hunt, especially for the boxes in my area. We filled that copper cup, 24 weed cents. We got three from the 30s or earlier, the 36, a 27D and a 13S. And I believe those two are definitely gonna be additions. We also got three Canadians, 459s, two pretty nice copper cents that I'll check against the album, and two 69Ss, both of which were not the DDO. Let me go ahead and comb through the finds now and see if we have any additions or upgrades, although I know we have some additions, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, we have combed through the finds. I have one upgrade and two additions. The one upgrade is going to be this 1954. The other one in the book has corrosion, and even though it's not in the best shape, it is definitely an upgrade. We'll be adding that one in for sure. We're also going to be adding that 27D and, of course, the 13S semi-key date. Unbelievable. Let me plug them in. I'll give you a final look with a recap of the album. The album has been updated, and I'm pleased to announce that we now have 176 of the 234 spots filled after 49 boxes. We're one box away from about the halfway point that I planned on for this series. Not saying that I'll stop at 100 boxes, but that was what I allocated to see how far we'd get along. 58 spots remain, and even though there are a lot of tougher dates and tougher scents to find, we found a 13S, which tells me there's a lot more possibilities to find some of the other tougher dates along the way, including some of the findable scents still need to be found in the 30s and the 20s. Hopefully, after 49 boxes and 31 episodes, you guys are still enjoying this Penny Hunt and Phil series. If you are, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, Happy hunting, and thanks for watching.